In this video, we'll cover how to compute Poisson probabilities using the Casio FX9860G or FX9750G2 calculators. We're going to use this scenario. An average of seven customers arrive at a drive through every 15 minutes during lunchtime for a fast food restaurant. In a Poisson distribution, we have an arrival rate given to us over a time period or distance. In this case, our time period is 15 minutes, and our average, our expected value, is that seven customers would arrive in one time period. We're looking at problems here where we're asked about that single time period of 15 minutes and also a time period of 30 minutes, which is two segments of time. Lambda is that arrival rate we were given, T is how many time segments, and then E of X is simply multiplying the two numbers together. So now we have everything we need in order to plug things into the calculator. Let's open up the calculator. Click on 2 for the stat menu, and we'll find the Poisson menu under distribution. Click the F6 button to go to the next screen, and then click F1 for Poisson. We have two options to use. PPD is the one we use when we're trying to find an exact values probability, like the probability of x equals 7. PCD is for less than or equal to or greater than. Let's start then with the PPD. The first thing we have to pick is data. We're going to use variable, so I'll click F2 and it will change to variable. And then it asks us to enter the two variables the calculator needs to calculate the probability. X is seven, click the EXE button to enter that seven. And the mu, which is also E of X, is also seven, click EXE, and then down to the execute button, click EXE again, and I see the probability is about 15% that exactly seven customers would arrive at the drive through in a 15 minute period during lunchtime. Now let's look at the probability of less than or equal to seven people. I'll click the exit button to get back to the main stat menu. F5 will take me to the distribution functions and F6 to go over one screen, F1 to get to Poisson, now we'll use the PCD button, click F2. It's the same variables that we need to enter, but now it's going to give me a cumulative probability that up to and including some number of customers arrive given our E of X. X here is seven because we are trying to find the probability of X less than or equal to seven. E of X is seven. Scrolling down, I click the execute button. We have a 60% probability that seven or fewer customers, that is zero or one or two up to seven, would arrive in 15 minutes versus only a 15% probability of exactly seven customers arriving. Now let's look at the next one. What is the probability seven or more customers arrive in 15 minutes? This can be framed three different ways. Probability of x greater than or equal to seven is exactly how it's written. We can also say the probability of x greater than six because we're talking about a discrete distribution where x can only take on whole number values. There is no value between six and seven. And because the cumulative function for the Poisson distribution returns values up to some number, we have to calculate the probability up to and including six and subtract it from 100%. The leftover will be the probability of more than six people arriving. We'll therefore go back to this menu, which we're already in the cumulative distribution function. So I'll change this x to be six and click the EXE button. And now I'm going to save my results in a list. So I'll click F2, and I'm going to save it in list one, and click EXE, and now execute. And it shows me my answer is 0.4497. So we have a 45% probability for six or fewer customers arriving in 15 minutes, because that's what we just calculated. But now I want to go back to the math menu. So I'll click menu and one to go to the math menu. And now I'm going to subtract that probability from 100%. One minus, click on shift, list, 
1 exe, and it calculates for me that there's a 55% probability of seven or more customers arriving in 15 minutes. It's gone to the list where I saved the result of my calculation, which I can show you here. List one is where it saved the result of my calculation for the Poisson problem. Now we'll move on to the next scenario where we're now looking for the probability of exactly 10 customers arriving in 30 minutes. We have switched from a 15 minute segment to two 15 minute segments. Our E of X will be 14. Menu button, stat, distribution, arrow over, Poisson, and PPD. And we're going to look for X being 10, hit the EXE button, and now my mu is 14. I don't need to save it, so I'll say none and execute. And I have a 6.6% .6 probability that exactly 10 customers would arrive in 30 minutes. Final example, what's the probability that less than 30 customers would arrive in 30 minutes? But the cumulative distribution function will find the probability up to and including whatever number we enter. Our x therefore will be 29. We'll go all the way back to the distribution menu, scroll over and get to Poisson, and then we'll go to the cumulative distribution. Our x is 29 and our mu is 14 scrolling down to the execute, and the probability is almost 100% that 29 or fewer customers would arrive in 30 minutes. This has been an introduction to calculating Poisson probability using the Casio FX9860G calculator.